Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on Crisis on Infinite Earths. So the last two videos have been trailer breakdowns because they released six individual trailers for all the different shows participating in the crossover. And on that same day, they actually released a whole load of photos. And I just simply didn't have time to break down these photos at that time about two or three days ago because obviously the trailers were the priority and I didn't want to cram it all into one long video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be breaking down these photos. This is all from the first hour of the crossover, so expect some photos from The Flash and also Batwoman because those two are before the fall as well as Supergirl which we're going to be breaking down today because this is all from Supergirl's episode but don't expect any photos from Arrow or Legends just quite yet because they are going to be coming after the mid-season break which I think for the record is a really great idea that they are prolonging Crisis more than just like a week long thing so yeah it's a really good idea anyway so let's break down these photos. So the first photo, we're in Lena's lab and Lena is there with Alex. They're working on something on this tablet or computer. You can see she's got some vials. I don't know what's in them. It looks like maybe blood or maybe some sort of material, maybe like a dose of antimatter. I would say that's probably highly likely. I think the way the crossover is actually going to start is some Earths are going to be destroyed. We're going to see some of the impacts and that obviously sets the stakes. But I think with Supergirl being the first episode, what will happen is we get this set up. So we're just with Supergirl's characters at the start. We have this stuff. And then we find out eventually about Crisis coming in. That's when our heroes from the other Earths and the other shows will come in and ask for their help. And they all visit Earth 38, as you can see in some of these photos. But anyway, so we get the return of Clark and Lois, who we first saw last crossover together. Lois was the first time she showed up, Elizabeth Tollock plays her and they are going to have their own show and in this photo you can see we've got a baby Mr. Kent. Obviously we don't know what his name is but John Kent is his name normally in the comics so we can presume they're going to call him that. So they reference this in Elseworlds how they were going to go to Argo City, go off world you know because she's pregnant she's going to raise the child there but they obviously return for this incoming crisis. So let's move on to talk about the third photo and so we're still in the DEO this seems to be very early days in the crossover once again because there is no actual like threat. I think maybe this could be when the heroes first come maybe Clark returns for the first time since last crossover I guess something like that could be happening but because it's only our Supergirl characters we've got Alex, Brainy and Supergirl I can presume this is fairly early days still. And so Supergirl is in her suit, Brainy and Alex are in their normal DEO wear, looking really cool in this photo, sort of just walking together. We have another photo of Alex and Supergirl, they do look very scared, so maybe they've been told about the antimatter and everything that has happened out there. So I believe this is actually a continuation, so we do have the arrival in the DEO of some of our heroes. Obviously we got Alex and Supergirl, like that last photo, but we have the arrival of Batwoman, Superman and also Lois Lane. We have some other people as well but this is the first time that everyone's in the DEO I'm pretty sure and you know I'm probably gonna actually take back what I said. I think we're gonna have some normal stuff happening on Supergirl for a little bit but also it's gonna pretty much start off with Harbinger recruiting everyone as well because in this photo you can see it's just a wider photo you still got Batwoman, Superman, Lois, Kara and Alex, but also you have Harbinger, Oliver and Mia. So Harbinger, like she has been doing in the trailers, definitely recruits them very early days. So I'm not sure what happens first. I think maybe the Harbinger stuff will happen first. Then we'll just go to Supergirl's Earth, be with Lena, be with Alex, be with Supergirl. And then, you know, everyone will turn up at the DEO. So they haven't actually done that yet, apart from Barry. I think Barry, yeah, Barry's been there, but I'm not sure if he's been in this new base. He's definitely been in the old base with the first crossover. But yeah, I don't think Oliver's been on Earth 38 or anything. It's always been normally Earth 1. So very intrigued to see this in the crossover. So we got this photo of Oliver and Mia. So Mia's still sticking around. Obviously, she's in present day, like she was revealed to be last episode on Arrow. And so, yeah, they're in the DEO and they are 
listening intently, basically. And the next photo, we get to see Oliver confronting Superman. He seems to be very distressed. You can see by his hands. He is explaining something to him. I guess it's probably crisis related because Oliver and Barry are the only ones who really know the proper stakes of crisis right now. So we move on to the next photo. So Batwoman is unmasked and you know, she took her hair off and everything. Uh, it seems like the legends are here because Ray's here. He wasn't in that past photo. So I guess they all show up one by one or Harbinger brings them all together at once. Then we go back to another photo. I'm not specifically sure if this is on Supergirl's Earth or not, because the lighting is really weird. This is definitely near the balcony. It does look like the DEO, you know, the stairway where it comes down and, you know, they normally have the American flags up, but the sky and the lighting behind them is completely changed. It's, you know, similar to the red skies or like the orange skies, it kind of looks a bit orangey that we've been teased with in the crossover. Obviously in the flash forwards, Barry's seen over on the flash, but also from the newspaper article and such. So in this photo, we have Harbinger, we have Barry, we have White Canary, and we have the Atom. So they're all suited up and they are looking up into the air. And if this was the normal DEO, I don't see why they would be looking into the air. Maybe it's the monitor. I'm not sure, but something strange is going on here. It's a very nice photo though. I really do like the lighting. And so moving on to the next photo, the next photo is a continuation. It's actually a behind the scenes photo, but it's in the exact same place. They've got the same lighting. It very much so does look like the DEO. However, like I said, the lighting's changed, so it could be potentially the DEO on another Earth. So in this photo, we've got basically all of our heroes, like nearly all of them. So I'll go through them. We've got Supergirl, we got the Atom, we've got Green Arrow, Alex, Flash, Brainy, Jean, Batwoman, Mia, Superman, Harbinger, White Canary, and Lois Lane. So obviously that's not all our heroes, but it's a large chunk of them, and it's just a really nice behind the scenes photo to get you excited for the amount of heroes that are gonna be in the crossover and in Supergirl specific episode. I'm not sure if like, you know, Cisco and Killer Frost are gonna show up, or if it's like Heatwave and everyone like that. I don't know if they're all specifically going to show up that much in the Supergirl episode, but definitely all of these lot are going to show up. Obviously, there's a main focus on Supergirl because it is Supergirl's episode, so that's why you got Supergirl, you got Alex in a lot of these photos, you got Jean, Brainy, but also you have Superman and Lois as well. So let's move on to talk about the next photo. So this seems to be later on into the episode because this is after a big battle. You can see there is piles of rubble behind him. So behind Oliver, and Oliver is suited up in his Green Arrow gear, ready to fight or in mid-fight. So we move on to the next photo, and we've got a lot of our other heroes in this massive pile of rubble. Like, there is a lot of rubble. Always one thing that gets me with these shows, I feel like they should CGI some, like, breaks in the ground, because there's always rubble on top of the ground, and it's very obvious, but they never break anything, because obviously they can't break property in Vancouver because you know they would have to rebuild it and that would take a very long time but I feel like they should CGI like some breaks in the ground I don't know that's just me anyway so we got Supergirl we got the Flash Superman the Atom and Batwoman they're all walking down sort of in their superhero stances just walking and they are looking kind of into the air well specifically Barry and Kara so some sort of threat is in the sky and so continuing on from that we've got the same heroes the Flash Supergirl Superman Batwoman and the Atom, they are all looking up in the sky now in that very same rubble, so it's just a continuation from a different angle. Same thing, different angle. It seems like the Atom's actually smiling, which is a bit strange, but we've seen some behind the scenes stuff when he's sort of goofing around as the legends do, but he's there with Superman and Batwoman in that rubble. Then we've got another angle, we've got the Flash and Superman really excited for this, specifically this pair I really like together and so I'm very looking forward to that in this crossover. The final photo is of Batwoman and she's just alone. It does look like this is in a different location. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any crisis videos as we head towards it in a few weeks. So I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.